You're stuck with your federal taxes. Live in America, you have to pay. But America's having 50 different states means you can avoid some taxes if you live in the right state. And that's a good thing because it creates competition. If your state does something stupid, you can leave. Take your talent and money elsewhere. Millions of people do. Travis Brown invented a clever way to document who's moving where. Here it is. We're looking at the movement of um, Americans and their income, measured by the Internal Revenue Service taxpayer data files since 1992 to 2010, the largest you can time available. Track it by time. That's I see. right. That's right. We can go right well, up you here. You can maybe. We can do it from this entire period and show from where and to where Americans have been voting with their feet in taking their wallet. These red states, people have left and gone often to Florida. That's or right. Or Texas or North Carolina. America's biggest winning state is the Sunshine State of Florida. A gain of $10,000 a minute, every minute of every day on average for the last 18 years. There are nine states like Florida that do not penalize that work. And they, as a group, tend to do very well in our analysis. And the analysis shows people leave the income tax states for no income tax states? The nine states of different locations and weather and climate uh, as a group over the 18-year period have collected over $166 billion from the other 41 states. The reverse is also true by correlation. The nine states with the highest income tax rates have lost nearly $150 billion. Uh, nearly $19 billion has been going straight out of New York for Florida. In New England, there is one state that stands out, like New Hampshire. Live free or die is their motto, and they show a gain with a very different weather climate of $3.5 billion. Yeah, it does show that it's not just about weather. California always seems to be red here. Well, California, these states in green, are receiving California income from taxpayers that have chosen to leave the Golden Bear State. And, of course, neighbors like Nevada, right next door, are showing a gain of $18 billion, 10 of which is coming straight out of places like Lake Tahoe. The biggest per capita winners, Florida, Montana, Wyoming, South Carolina, Vermont. Yes. Biggest losers, Alaska, New York, Washington, D.C., Illinois, Maryland. That's right. Yeah. You look at the total tax burden as a percent of your income, and the high tax states are giving their income away, and lower tax states are doing better and better and better. And people watching now, they can download their own version of this just by going to this website. That's right. How, How Money Walks. HowMoneyWalks.com. You can have this information for your city, your county, and your state available on your smartphone, downloading the app, or you know, surfing this web map tool. Uh, it's, it's useful. And I, I like it that states now advertise their tax advantage. Florida and Texas ran these ads. Zero percent personal income tax. That's right. Zero. The best place to get away from it all is also the best place to get it all done. Grow your company in Florida. If you're tired of the same old recipe of overtaxation, overregulation, and frivolous litigation, get out before you go broke. Texas is calling. Texas Governor Rick Perry escalated the tax competition by naming other states, trashing other states. If you just took the book of rules and regulations in New York State, it's 49,000 pages. Why have more jobs and businesses moved to Texas than any other state? We have no state income tax. Well, I love it that he points out the greed of my state's politicians. It makes perfect sense why Governor Perry is in New York to recruit and, and get more business. And my politicians, feeling the pain of losing people and money to states like Texas, has, have started running this ad. New New York is open, open to innovation. That's why New York has a new plan. Dozens of tax-free zones all across the state. Move here, expand here, or start a new business here and pay no taxes for 10 years. But that's not just lower taxes. It sounds, it's certain tax-free zones. This is the classic case, uh, I think $140 million of promotion of that kind of ad but it requires you to be selected by your state government as a winner in a particular zone, and there are a lot of conditions that would apply there. Apparently, you have to be near the State University of New York and some other private colleges. Retailers are excluded, so are law firms, hotels, medical offices, power plants. It just sounds like arrogant politicians saying, 
oh, I'll take that one. I like this one. By the time you fill out all that paperwork, you might have had enough time just to move to Palm Beach or Austin. <laughs> I still think it's weather. Look, this is New York. They're going to Florida. They're just Most of the green is down here. Well, we certainly see evidence that for Texas, Tennessee, and Florida, they do very well. But take a state like Wyoming, where it's still snowing in this environment. We have a gain of $1.42 billion, a state in the, they're now calling the digital prairie. If you want a job with uh, an area in South and North Dakota, they're doing very well in upper tier uh, Great Plains states. And you have other states. The weather was really lousy there. <laughs> well, not if you're a pheasant. And this looks this way because you, you even break it down county by county where people are. That's going. right. And for example, we know that Chicago is a big part of the $29 billion loss to a state like Illinois. We can zoom in and look particularly on where that state loss is, even within the state, by going into, let's say, Cook County. And that's what allows us to see the relationship uh, of how much responsibility a city may have for governing their state correctly or incorrectly.